Greetings and welcome to Old Drunken Discography, where old friends and fans come together to BS, argue, occasionally agree, and discuss a musical artist. This week's artist was my personal pick, The Descendants, and we are doing our top songs. We only have seven, plus a bonus cup. Ah. Um, if you missed our previous videos, shame on you. Um, this play is, playlist is going to start with all, and it's going to end with no all. That's going to happen. Deal with it. It fucking has to happen. Yeah. All right, so... Agreed. Oh, what? No, just agreed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't introduce everybody because we, 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 we record all these videos in one night, and I've, I've introduced these people like eight times now. But fuck it, they need an introduction. We've got Mr. Tim Armstrong. Not That's me. Not of Operation Ivy fame. Nope. But of Sabretooth fame. Go check out Sabretooth on Spotify. Um, And we got Bill. Who hit him up on Fortnite. He'll carry you because he's a top 500 player in Fortnite. Not even close. I'm the bottom five wood tier. In myself, bronze plastic tier fucking Jason. Still above wood tier. But oh. speaking of gold tier. Greasy Grimes ain't with us. He's gold tier. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um yeah, so any dissonance playlist to me has to start off with fucking everything sucks. It's it kind of sums up my, you know, sometimes you wake up and everything fucking sucks. And you just want a cup of coffee and everything fucking sucks. It's the perfect opening track. Hands and you know what's going to follow that perfectly? Uh, bonus cup. Clean sheets. Oh, Ooh. let me make sure. Ooh. Oh, you almost Ooh. stole my number one. Bitch. Oh, coming out swinging. Fuck me. I have to come up with the alternative. Oh, shit. Tim stole it. That was a double hitter right there. That was a double Fuck. whammy. Nice. My notes say top song contender. It's a pop punk masterpiece. It has the metaphors. The juvenile. I've already read all that. Go check out our review of all. All, all right. right. Now we're good to be, which I felt I had to get this one on here somewhere. Uh, it might be an instrumental, which some people might have mixed opinions of. Note, the fact it's an instrumental, it's still a fucking good instrumental. And it's a hidden track, too. And that is Grand Theme, which is off of Everything Sucks, I believe. Yes. This, gosh, let's say... I alluded to it when we uh, did the album. Uh, by, it's Bowling for Soups, Getting Old Sucks, literally took this, the entire melody, and made it into a song. And there's a reason why, because it's a damn good melody. It's a damn good instrumentals behind it. And yeah, that's why I feel like it should be on this list, because it is a damn good instrumental. It's probably my favorite instrumental by the Descendants, but it's a damn good instrumental. It is a damn good instrumental. I think I think you're still you're still um, harboring some ill feelings because of the no, no doubt videos we did. Not even close. I uh, know this. That is how you do a hidden track. Is that not? The Saturn crap that No Doubt did. That's fair. All right, Tim, what's your number six? Well, I think we're going to stick with Everything Sucks and go with Hateful Notebook. Hmm. I can get behind that. Yeah, I like that song. Yeah, that, that's that's a good one. 
That's a good one. All right, so come back to me. No, it's not going to be another instrumental. But I am going to go off of Milo Goes to College. And I'm going to go with Marriage. This is actually, when I listened to this album, this was, this album, this song caught my attention straight away. I love the lyrics. I love the melody. The bass on this, I pointed out the bass when we talked about the album. The bass was phenomenal on this song, in my opinion. And when nice. she's I got at number six. Just to uh, recap for people who didn't watch the playlist, Bill's got Milo goes to college at number three. I think I think Milo goes to college is a record you're gonna eventually come back to on your own. You're gonna be like, holy shit, holy shit, marriage is just a just a tit. Of that record. <laughs> oh, there's a joke there, but I, I'm not sure I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's a joke there. Oh, uh, what do I, what have I got? I'm gonna try and show some later descendants love, and go with off of Ninth and Walnut, and go with it's my hair. I fucking love this song. It's, it's like part dis, it's part Black Flag, it's part surfer rock um Michael's or Milo's vo vocal delivery is insane great lyrics oh, it's so good all right Bill what's your number five well I'm actually also going to go off of Ninth and Walnut here oh that's and Shocker. I'm gonna go with Mohicans. That I felt to me was my favorite song off of this album. Um, Great song. I love, I love the beat one. of it. I love the lyrics. And yeah, I'm gonna sound redundant. And you know, like I love the beat, love the lyrics. Like the there's not a lot more that I look for in a song other than the beat, the lyrics. Um, the instrumentals were also very good. It was on the shorter side. I think this is less than two minutes on this song. Which, I mean, it fits the Descendants bill right there, but um, yeah, just great song. I can get behind that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go off of Hyper, and I'm going to go with Smile. Because I think Milo again, Milo's delivery sells it. The lyrics are phenomenal. I mean, if when we lose Bill, we're gonna lose a piece of punk rock. Like he, he is a, sure. a, a sure. fucking cornerstone of not even yeah. uh, not my life, but like punk rock in general he is an important human being on this planet and that that song just it just hits me every time i hear it yeah uh tim what about you what, what well do, do i think we need a, a top third banger here so let's go with orgo fart no i'm kidding um oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get some farting on this playlist. It wouldn't be a oh playlist Lord, I know it's coming. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm gonna off of uh, Milo goes to college. I'm gonna go with suburban home. I want Absolute to be punk rock classic. I want to be stereotyped. I want to be classified. Well, that's a, yeah, 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 I mean, classic. God, you listen, classic. if you listen to that song, as a guitar player, like, my fingers just hurt. <laughs> it's, it's, like, all just, like, like. Sure. Ooh. No, that song gets stuck in my head all the time. I love yeah. it. That, that has to be on here. Yep. And I think it should be in the first third. As the banger. The banger is fucking 
Everything sucks. <laughs> I mean, they're all bad. Your hateful but... notebook and. <gasps> oh, excuse uh, me. What's my number four? I was hoping somebody else would pick something from this. I guess I'm gonna go cool to be you. And I'm gonna go anchor grill. And because this isn't my favorite song off of Anchor Grill off of Cool to Be You. But it grew on me over time. Those lyrics fucking hit. We'll never get ahead in this world. Not till we move ahead of this world. We've made for ourselves. Where there's no time to kiss. No room to even breathe. It's such a grown up song. Like a. Uh, to, to hear a. To go to Fat, Fat Records. And buy an album. And have a song where he's talking about. Being married. And like. The 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 magic is gone from that original, you know, when you were dating, blah, blah, blah. And you're, you know, what the fuck do you do? Well, I still remember us at the Anchor Grill. And the verses, uh, uh, the chorus, the way he, the, it's just, it's, a, it's an amazing song. It's grown over me. over t- as, The older I get, the more Anchor Grill hits. It's such a good fucking song. All right, Tim, what's your number four? Well, my number four is going to be from Enjoy. And it's going to be... (laughs) Here it comes. Bill's just waiting for the farts. Days are blood. Oh. Yeah, it's almost eight minutes. Yeah, it rips. I love well, that song. Like that was great. That's an interesting pick for. That's not mm-hmm. one I would have had. You didn't steal shit. I no, know but you know, I like the fact that it's on this playlist. It does give a variety. I'll say that. Yep. It's not a bad song. It's actually a pretty good fucking song. But... Yeah, I really liked that one. I was shocked at uh, that they could bust out an eight-minute song and keep my attention for the whole time. It's great. Loved it. All right, Bill. Well, I hate you, Tim. My my number four is Blast Off, which means I have the first fart on this goddamn playlist. (laughs) See? You're coming around. You're coming around to the farts. No, I'm not. it's, It's at the end, and that's the only thing I don't like about this song. I, the whole, the whole song's about farting though. Jalapeno. Like, habanero. Like, yeah, I know. Habanero. But, <laughs> it's a fun song and I don't even think about it until I realize that's what it's about. It, well, that's perfect then. Exactly. That's why it's a, that's why it's on the list. <laughs> Is it the best Descendants fart song? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's a good one, though. Let us know. Let us know down below. Let us down, down below. What's your favorite Descendants fart song? Yes, there are multiple to choose from across multiple albums. <laughs> <laughs> um, I started it, Tim, then Bill. I Tim's went. Turn, it's Tim's turn. turn. Oh, Okay. Well, from the eight-minute song, I'm going to go to the ten-second song that held my attention uh, from the bonus fat EP. Got to put Wiener Schnitzel on there. Yeah, I feel like that should be a bonus song. It's so fucking short and sweet. Yeah. Yeah. No, great. Plus, any time you start off a song with, you know, Welcome to Burger King, may I take your order? <laughs> yes. Uh, God. It's so good. It's great. It's so great. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. All right, Bill, what you going to follow up with Wiener Schnitzel? How do you follow up Wiener Schnitzel? 
not that well, I'm guessing, but I'm following it up with nothing with you. I mean, oh man, I'm glad you picked that one. Which is not on the It's, it's on Cool To Be You. Nothing with you. Holy shit, the lyrics as he's going through the song like you you you're on the journey with him as he's describing everything yep in 2004 that's what i was doing i was sitting around doing nothing with my <laughs> then girlfriend or fiance current wife I w- we were doing nothing we were watching simpsons reruns it's it's such a beautiful love song that just hits. It's so good. I'm glad you put it on here. You're welcome. That saves me from having to decide what my number one is. All right. Um. Oh, you're doubly welcome then. So my next notes. I'm gonna go off and enjoy. I'm gonna go get the time. Yeah. My notes say, Jesus, it's so fucking good. <laughs> That's all it says. That's Just all you need. Go listen That's to this all you need. song. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's pop punk perfection. Oh, it nails it. It just nails it. I don't know what else to say. Bill, what you gonna follow up with? Well, I guess you don't know because we haven't picked our songs yet. So, this one, I'm kind of doing, I don't want to say a 180, but, well, no, the other one's kind of also more, I don't want to say Saturn vibes, but more like, holy shit, the song hits hard. This one's also going to hit hard. No, it's not hitting hard like a fart does. Um, But off of, I believe, Don't Grow Up? Uh, is yeah, it is. Is Christmas Vacation? Yeah, that's a good one. So I mean, you got some O's, but at the same time, like, goddamn, you are on the journey with Milo as he's singing about this, and the song it just hits different. Um, going through just describe as he describes everything and. Yeah, it I just think, it's a I phenomenal th- song. I think that's a Frank song. I could be wrong. But like it has that he had a lot of fucking problems with his family and his and Christmas vacation. Uh, Christmas vacation was Bill wrote the music and Milo wrote the lyrics. Oh, that's a Milo. Okay. See, I told you don't fucking at me in the comments. <laughs> they're all they're all descendants. But two Add them at the comments. Yeah, please add me at the comments. Uh, yeah, that's a good pick. That's a that's a that's a hard hit fucking song. Um, well, my number two is Clean Sheets. So, what about backups? Anything from Milo or anything from Everything Sucks. Or, yeah, fuck it. This has got to be on there. It's got to be fucking bikeage. Oh, wait. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. There's so many good songs. I don't know. I know. We're getting down to it, too. I think I got my last two picked out, though. I'm not a loser. <laughs> I'm going to go with Hope, just in case none of you guys pick it. I was going to pick it. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll go I'll go with uh, Bike Itch. That's, that's what I meant. That's what oh, I, I mean, meant. yeah, if you want to, then I'll pick Hope next. <laughs> I'm going to go Bike Itch, because, uh... Whew. Um, I don't, you know, I don't have any notes for it. it. It's just a fucking amazing Descendant song. Well ahead of its time. The fact that they wrote Bikeage at that age is insane to me. 
how do you narrow the descendants down to seven songs? I don't know. Right. All right, Tim, what's your next one? Hope. Thank God. Yeah, I, I wasn't kidding. That'll be my next one. Just to reiterate. Such a great song. This, that man, that chorus. Woo! The line, like, you don't know what you want. You may It may take you years to find out. Fucking hits me every time. Oh. And Blink. Blink does a really good cover of it, but it doesn't beat the original. Nope. Uh, is it my turn to go first? I think it yep. is. Well, Bill saved me, so I'm going to go off of everything sucks. I'm going to go with We. I think this is one of the best love songs ever fucking wrote. In, a, in an album that... And what makes everything suck so great is it works as a... You take your pop punk records. You either have like a... Uh, this girl is beautiful and I love her album or you have a fuck this girl you know I'll choose my friends over you album but what makes Milo or everything sucks works is it covers both it's got like <laughs> the best like I love you songs at the same time it has the best fuck you songs it's just the balance of it's perfection and we is is one of the greatest love songs ever fucking wrote. All right, Tim, what is your number one favorite Descendants song? Silly Girl. I wasn't going to do it. I, you know, I, yeah, and I, I debated, but it's it's too good. That outro is very... That outro is, is, is special. The whole song is. It's just a great song. And I don't feel bad about picking it. Because while, yeah, it might be like one of the Descendants' best known songs, that's still not very well known. Um, you're not going to hear this on the radio. Um, you're not going to hear it in a commercial for The Gap or Old Navy or Sprint or whatever. Um now, it's, it's a rad song. The chorus is great. It's super poppy. It's also super melancholy. Like It's just a really well-crafted song. And, yeah, I've got other ones I could pick, but that's got to be on there. Uh, again, it shows the brilliance of the songwriting. You hear, this, you hear the title, Silly Girl. Silly girl, okay, yeah, it sounds derogative, but when you listen to it, it's not. It's right. It's genius. Just genius it's a great song. song. And Bill, what is your punk rock classic? Well, so this one, I was like, so in my Descendants journey, I talked to Jason a little bit about this. I found this album called Rare Ridge that YouTube kept trying to make me listen to. That was labeled as Descendants. It's basically it's a couple songs, including ones that weren't uh, released. And the one song that actually stuck with me throughout everything was recorded during the Enjoy Sessions. And I don't know if it actually got so the alternative titles were I Don't Down Me or Promise. And everyone's talking about Milo going to college. I'm talking about Doug riding a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, the song title is Doug Rides a Skateboard. Oh, shit. You got a fucking Doug. <laughs> Doug Rides a Skateboard. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, how like it's, I mean, Brigo Bill minute like fifty long, and just I mean, promise me this, my friend, you'll never use me again. I promise you this, my friend, you'll never use me again. 
you know, now I'm on my way and you're going down the drain, down, 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 you're going down, babe, you're going down, you're going down, babe. Like, just everything is, it's a fast-paced, upbeat song. The words, I mean, it's repetitive-ish, but, like, at the same time, like, the repetitive works with the beat because it's just, it's making your mind have to think faster, faster, faster as you're going through it. And... You've entered the I mind of that Bill. song just stuck with me. That's a deep fucking cut right there. Yeah, oh, that, that makes up for the instrumental, I'm thinking. I think so. Well, <laughs> well fun fact, Grand Theme was also on Rarage. That's how, that's how I'm like, oh shit, Like, is this on an actual album? Because I love the instrumental. I love Grand Theme. Oh, there's a lot of good shit on that rare. Like, the Descendants need to put out a B-Sides collection with Sad State of Affairs and all the singles and shit they've done that were on albums. Like Doug Rides a Skateboard. Do we need a bonus cup? What? I mean, I got more songs. We could throw uh, more songs on there. Yeah, I, I, can... I mean, So we got a couple songs that are only, you know, like you know, a couple of seconds long, so we could probably put a couple more on. I mean, it's your pick, Jason. Is there anything we're missing? No, there's plenty of fucking shit we're missing. We're missing about... Oh, I know, but is there some anything we're, like, missing? We got Suburban Home, we got Silly Girl. I mean, I'm the One was a single, but that's not... That's a good song, too, but... I mean, I liked Kids. I liked Schizophrenia. I liked Doghouse. I liked Mass Nerder. I liked You're Disgusting. Like, they're, they're, they're tired of being tired. There's a, still a whole bunch of stuff we could throw on. Yeah, you got it. So, because I'll be honest, like, good, good things about you. The ones I still had in my backlog were Merkin, Lucky, Can't Go Back, Sad State of sad state of affairs sour grapes and then get the time was my other backup i had to get the times already on there right it is yeah yeah okay. jason so put it, that one so on is how much attention i'm paying um uh, i'm gonna go with oh you gotta have sour grapes kind of on there that's kind of a big one heart and crew heart and crew do, do. um or, or, we just close it out with the farts. Ooh. Is, that, is that your, is that your uh, bonus cup or go fart? Or do you want to go with enjoy? No. Is Bill going to, I have a feeling Bill's going to hate me too much, so no. It well, won't be. Well, why are we putting it in my Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> Miss Tim, Miss Tim. I mean, yeah, I, I feel time, like Bill will hate me too much on that well, one. So, at the same time, I don't want to be the only one with a song with a fart in it. Oh. Well, then, yes, that is going to be my pick. You want enjoy or you want fart? just for the memes? Which one, enjoy or Olga fart? Olga fart. The fact that we ain't got nothing about coffee. <laughs> Let me pick something about coffee. Uh, besides everything sucks. Coffee mug? Coffee mug. That's a good one. I'll just go with coffee mug. Honestly, the, just go listen. If you're watching this, go fucking listen to The Descendants. Pick any album. Don't fucking matter. It's The Descendants. But definitely listen to this playlist, too. Yeah, after Like two or three playlist, times. This covers it all. We got the coffee. We got the farts. We got the love songs. We got the songs about food. Wait, where's I like food? Oh, shit. We ran out. Fuck it. Bill's, Bill's next song is I like food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Everybody put that after food. the farts. After the farts, then I like food. Yeah. And then no all, because it's going to end with no all. And then no all, of course, yes. Is that a good list? Yes. 
Is it all encompassing? No. But no. that's the best we could do. We'd be here all fucking night. Go listen to the descendants. If you're uh if, if a girl broke your heart, they got a song for you. If you're in love with a girl, they got a song for you. If you just got a fucking fart, they got a song for you. They cover if all If you're bases. a dirty punk rock bastard, they got multiple songs for you. Yeah, if if, if you think punk rock is a is a fashion statement, they got a song for that too. If you want to ride a skateboard, you gotta dig deep, but you'll find one about that too. Mm-hmm. Hey, you knew. Wave. I mean, you know, the the descendants are full on skate punk. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, you're gonna find them on all kinds of skate compilations. So you're gonna find all kinds of stuff you like. I want to be stereotyped. I want to be classified. Anything else y'all want to wrap? Let's wrap this up. It's been a late night. We covered eight albums and our top songs in one night. The you guys will get trickled this information over the next two weeks because we're some lazy fuckers. And we need time to listen to these records. So, yeah. Stick around. We're going to do COC next. That's a big one. It's gonna, mm-hmm. You guys are going to need some extra time for that. That's going to be a two-weeker right there. Then we got Cinderella. And then I think we got Alice in Chains. I can't fucking remember what we're doing after that. I got gotcha. you. We'll, we'll know then. We'll know then. Yeah, Alice in Chains is after Cinderella, yep. Um, We love you guys. Like, subscribe, hit all the buttons, and do all the things. Listen to then do it again, then tell your mom, then tell her to do it again, then tell her to tell her friends. All right, so, uh, yeah, that's it. Anybody else got anything to add about The Descendants? No, I, I enjoyed learning about this band. I'll say that. Um, definitely got a lot of albums and songs I'm going to come back to. Yep, everything. Yeah, same. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this deep dive, and, uh, yeah, no complaints. I'm glad, and and I just want to give a shout out to the Descendants, any members of the Descendants, past or present. If you'd like to come on the show, we'd love to just sit around and bullshit with you and record it. That's what we do. With that, be safe and make good decisions. Like going to see the Descendants if they're coming to a town near you. Mm -hmm.